ever since we moved to our off-grid house, a lot of you have been asking how we stay connected when we're out here in the middle of nowhere when we obviously don't have like cable internet or DSL coming to our house because we have no services. So in this video, I'm going to answer exactly how we stay connected to the outside world in the middle of nowhere. The secret is in this little device. This is called a MiFi device and this is from Verizon. So we subscribe to Verizon. We bought this MiFi device, which you can find on Amazon, a link in description. That'll be an affiliate link. There's also something else in there that will be an affiliate link, which means if you click through that link, we will get some credit for your purchase, but it will not cost you anything additional. So anyway, this is like your cable modem slash router, but instead of connecting to your cable network, this connects to the Verizon uh, data network. So this will take the Verizon signal, broadcast it out locally, um, like any ordinary Wi-Fi connection. So as long as you have Verizon, a device like this will provide internet. So what if you don't have Verizon? Well, there's these available for AT&T, I believe for T-Mobile as well. We choose Verizon because they have the widest network, but we know a lot of our viewers who have both Verizon and AT&T to maximize their coverage wherever they are. There's a couple of things I like about this and a couple things I don't like about this. What I like about this is it's this size. It's, com it's very small, very portable. You don't have to have it plugged in all the time. It lasts for about six to eight hours. So for example, if you're stuck in a Chevy or Ford dealership getting some work done on your car, you can bring this with you. And as long as you have signal, in our case Verizon, you can connect to this anywhere in the entire country. So that's really cool. The convenience is awesome. And the size is also really nice. And I guess the other reason why I like this is because this is literally our only option. We have no other options out here that are affordable for us. Um, so this works great. Now, there are a couple things that I do not like about this, however. It's very flaky. Sometimes it'll just shut off for no reason whatsoever. It's incredibly frustrating. Every couple days, it'll slow down to a crawl where you'll barely be able to do anything, so you have to reset it. Sometimes it like freezes and I have to take the battery completely out, put it back in, restart it, and then it's back to normal. So it's, it's not a dependable source of internet over the long haul, but um, I think the benefits outweigh the negatives here, especially if this is your only option. Um, so despite those things I don't like, I still, in general, like this option a lot. And this is the exact same device we used in our Airstream while we were traveling full time. So that just proves how easy this is to move. We just moved it from the Airstream into the house and it works exactly the same way. Speed will be an issue depending on where you are, the network con um, congestion on the cell tower, um, and just how sophisticated the Amazon, or the Amazon, the Verizon network is at wherever you are. So what we've done is we have a WeBoost 4GX system on our Airstream and one here on the house that will take the Verizon signal, boost it locally, rebroadcast it immediately where you are. So if you have it on top of your Airstream or your RV, it'll boost that signal inside your RV so you get a better Verizon signal or, or AT&T or whatever service you have. So that is the advantage of that. It makes a world of difference. We've seen upload speeds, especially upload speeds, go from two to three megabits a second to 10 or 15 megabits a second just by using the WeBoost. So that is an excellent option. We have a directional antenna that we can point at exactly where that cell tower is. So what we do is we use an app like, like OpenSignal. There are also apps online. Um, that you can that you can use to help you pinpoint where the nearest cell tower is for your network. And for us, it is straight south, so that's where our antenna is pointing. But of course, you'll point it wherever the nearest tower is to maximize the speed and the connectivity between you and the cell tower. So I was talking about the WeBoost. This is the little WeBoost box with four greens. That means it has all bands coming in hot and heavy with wherever our local cell signal is, our, our cell tower. Um, so four greens is good. Three greens and like an amber, not necessarily bad, depending on where you are. But in general, you want the best signal. So keep twisting and turning that antenna until you get four greens. 
And this is what accepts the signal from the outside directional antenna, comes into this box, which goes here to this device. This white little boxy looking rectangle device is what rebroadcasts the Verizon signal inside our house. And that's ultimately what this guy connects to wirelessly. And we keep our Verizon MiFi centrally located in the house to provide maximum coverage throughout the house. So it's usually plugged in right here and it's sitting on our bar, family room, bedroom, office. It's all centrally located. We never have a problem anywhere inside the house. And even out on our covered patio, we can get connectivity there too. So it works great. Okay, that's it for this video, short and sweet. A couple of quick announcements. This is June. So just a reminder, this is the last month that you can get our course for 100% free as our way of helping out the community during all this stuff yep. that's happening. So if you haven't gotten it for free yet, sign up, link below. Again, 100% free. So last month, do that if you haven't. And you have interest in learning how to plan your trips. Exactly. Also, I'm starting an Instagram challenge. Woo! For the month of June. It actually started a couple days ago. For, the, June 1st. for the month of June, yes. Um, it's called VK Every Day. So every day you would post a picture according to a little schedule that, that I laid out about a certain topic that relates to a vacation. Because many of us had vacations or travel planned for this month, including us, we weren't planning to be here. And obviously that is not happening. Things have not gone to plan, but just because you can't go on vacation doesn't mean that you can't have a vacay every day and yeah. do the things that vacations are fun, the reasons why the vacations are fun every single day. So that's what this is about. We'll be doing it on the Stream and Life channel and on Steve's Instagram. So make sure to go and check out every day what we're posting and follow along and hashtag vacay every day 2020. That's exactly right. I could not have said it better myself. I want to see your guys' pictures too. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I guess that's, is that it? That's it. Uh, next video I think is going to be a big, exciting project here on the homestead. So uh, stay tuned for that. Penny says no, but we say yes. Exactly. Or something. Bye guys. Is she scrubby? She's scrubby. Oh yes, she is. Yes, she's scrubby. Oh.